up with the dilly, yo? Yes, it's your boy Lucci back with another video, man. Yes, you already know, man. Today's the day, May 4th. You already know what's coming out or what has dropped. The Jordan 4 OG Retros, man. Um, I call them the breads. <clears throat> Excuse me. I call them the breads. I don't know what everybody else calls. Some people call them cements. I don't see anything cement about them. I call them the breads. That's just what it is. Um, I ended up hitting on a uh, Foot Locker. I put in for three reservations. I ended up hitting on one of the re reservations. So um, the reservations is that Mondam and Mall. So we over west right now. But it looked like I'm gonna have to take a detour because uh, they got like a little parade going on on Pennsylvania Avenue. But uh, yeah, man. Ray, take it over here, man. Pick my pair up, man. My one little pair. I didn't try on the sneakers app, even though I think I could have hit on the sneakers app for real, for real, if I would have really tried to get on it. But um, I ended up, you know, hitting it, you know, straight up, you know what I'm saying, with the Foot Locker thing. So I can just go ahead and grab from them, man. I ain't got to deal with the shipping and the time wasted and all that. We can get back to the spot and, you know, take an in-depth look at them, man. Even though I know y'all seen the video hit up so many times, you know what I mean? And done so many ways, you know what I mean? You still ain't seen my joint yet, so, you know, that's what we gonna do. But, um, yeah, man, we over here, yo. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, back off of this joint, man. Catch y'all up, man. Give y'all a little bit of B-roll, man. Y'all ain't been over, ain't been over West Baltimore, have y'all, so, you know. Probably give y'all a little B-roll, man, just see what's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? But you know what it is, what it is. It's your boy, Lynchy, man. Let's go ahead and do it, man. Yo, yo, what's up, boy? You know your boy out here, man. At the mall, see what's on the field. Y'all let y'all know. Yeah, 2012. Got the 2012s on the feet. We ready to go up in here, man, see what's going on, man. Got to, got to. Can't wait, man. Cannot wait to get my hands on these joints. In the spot, man. You can see it. Foot locker, got the bag, house and hoop, secured the bag. Now it's time to take it back to the crib, man. Let's talk about these things, man, for real, for real. Catch y'all in a second. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, fellas, man. Before we get, YouTube, man, before we get into these, man, I just wanted to bring awareness to uh, something about this relief. Um... Man, there's a lot of blood on 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 these sneakers, man. Like, I actually witnessed, you know, back in the day when I was a kid, man, witnessed teenagers robbing each other, you know, um, over these sneakers, man. I actually witnessed it, like, with my own eyes, man. Seeing another teenager go up to another teenager by gunpoint and rob me. And one thing I want to highlight about the situation, I want to say a rest in peace to Michael Eugene Thomas. He was a high school student. He went to Meade High School, located on Fort Meade Military Post, um, located in Maryland. Yo, he was murdered by his teammate slash best friend 
over these same Jordans, man. Strangled them, killed them in the woods, man. Strangled the boy, left him in the woods, man. Took his sneakers off, man. And, you know, back then, Jordan, you know, he was like, man, I didn't realize that, you know, my name or anything my name is attached to could really, you know, bring this type of impact to the community or affect people this way. But, um... You resellers out there, man, and all you new sneakerheads and everybody that's just getting in the game or been in the game for a little bit, man, y'all need to be paying homage to uh, Jordan Brand and Nike, man, for making these releases as wide as they doing them. And for the internet, you know, giving y'all a safe avenue to even do reselling, man. Y'all need to really be thankful, man, because, you know, I come from a time, man, when this particular pair, I'm not talking about all of Jordan. But I'm talking about this particular pad, man. A lot of people got hurt, man. A lot of people got hurt. A lot of people got touched. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, you know, um, it's a lot of different stories. But that one particular story of Michael Eugene Thomas, man, kind of stick out to me. Because not only was he killed over the sneaker, but he was killed by his best friend, man. So it's like, can't even trust nobody over a pair of sneakers, man. Even a friend. Not just making a random sale or, or a random transaction with a random person. Man, your own friends will kill you over these joints back in the day, man. So, this is a special release, man. This is the 30th anniversary of the Jordan 4. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I just want to give a moment of silence to everybody that has been hurt or harmed in the past, man, behind these Jordans, man, releasing, especially this particular pair, which is the Bread Fours, man. So, we're going to bow our heads for a second. Without any further ado, man, let's get into the review, man. You see the bag, man. House of Hoops. Yes, your boy actually went over the counter. You know I usually do the sneaker app, man, but this time, nah. We took it to the House of Hoops, man, and had to get this thing done. First thing first, you know you got the box. Yo, this box is ugly. The box is trash. The box, man, it's like flimsy as a, yo, like, the shoes are so heavy, I can feel it like it's bulging through the bottom, like it's about to bust through the bottom like a wet paper bag or something, man. But it is what it is, man. Jordan 4 Retro Bread. Some people call them cements. I just call them the bread. I don't see nothing cement about these. That's just my opinion. Pop the top. And immediately, man, you got this odor coming from these sneakers, man, like strong. Y'all talking about these things smell good. Mm -mm, not these, man. The glue on these do not smell good, man. I'm about to be totally honest, man. The glue on these do not smell good at all. But it is what it is, man. So we can go ahead and discuss it, man. Y'all know what's coming with the breath for man. You know how they coming. You got that new buck. Nothing real crazy, um, but it's still decent enough for the Jordan 4. As long as you keep them up, put like a little protector on it or something, you know, y'all be good to go, man. It'll, it'll be all right, man. It'll last for you. Um, got the high tongue. You already know the back. Got that Nike A on the back. I'm definitely happy that I was able to get these and actually was able to get them over the counter. And you can tell by my channel, man, I don't do a lot of mall vlogs or over-the-counter pickup vlog uh, type videos, man, because I don't really get a chance to get out there, man, to get, you know, to get at these sneakers. Or I'm not winning on the apps or whatever the case may be, so kind of forced to go the sneaker route just to be able to make sure that I get an authentic pair. But hey, man, end up getting these over-the-counter, man, out the hoop, mall, down the mall. So, yeah, I had to take y'all to the hood with me today, man. But this is all good, man. Like, I'm super happy. Only got one pair. I'm thinking about doing the, uh, the sole protector thing for these. I've never put a sole, sole protector on any of my sneakers. But I'm thinking about doing that with this sneaker right here. But, hey, I don't know, man. <clears throat> don't get me lying. I'm going to do something. But I'm definitely going to be rocking these. So, your boy... Technically, your boy is two for two right now on the year, man, as far as um, Jordan releases that I really wanted. Um, I definitely be skipping like all those other collaborations, but when it comes to the real, true retro Jordans that Jordan actually wore and played in, I, I was witness to watch him play in these sneakers. And like I said, I was a witness to a lot of people, you know, turmoil, man. I've seen people 
crossed by gunpoint, man, and had to take these up off of their feet on sight. So, yeah, man, this is definitely something in the collection I had to get, man. My first time having them. I've never had any other um, Jordan Red 12, I mean, um, 4, whatever the case may be. Never had any other pair. Seen the Nike Air, I mean, the Jumpman ones back in the day. I wasn't feeling them, so I never had them. Um, I had no, I had one pair, and I crashed them and did them crazy, man. They were like some uh, green, green and white Jordan for it. They had like the green waffles or, or something, the lace waffles or something on them. But yeah, I crashed them things immediately. Um, all of the netting up here near the, uh, the shoe strings and on the side panel, that all became like brown or something like that. So it's like. I really don't be <clears throat> digging the Jordan 4s like that, but this one, I definitely had to get in my collection, man. So I'm definitely happy about that, man. If you was able to cop today, you know, shout out to you guys, man. That's exactly what's up. Um, if you wasn't able to cop, then, you know, you gotta go and hit the resale market. I think they're going for like 260 right now, whatever the case may be. So, um, yeah, if you're into the sneaker, man, just make sure, you know, you don't pay too, too much for it. But I just want people to just, you know, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, or beginning when I got back to the studio, I wanted to make sure everybody is aware of the type of carnage and the type of um, situation that this particular, not all Jordan brand, but this one, and um, cause for the community, man. Like, I've seen a lot of people, you know, you know, getting into things, man, behind these Jordans, and, and I was never allowed to wear them. I mean, my mom couldn't afford them, and she said, even if I could afford them, I wouldn't buy them for you and put you put you out there like that, you know what I'm saying? Put you in harm's way like that. And I never understood what she was talking about, and then she broke that story about Michael Eugene Thomas to me. This was before the internet, this is back in 89, so, you know, she might have caught word through the news or newspaper or something. After my mom told me about this, man, I started seeing it for myself in the streets, man. Started seeing people, um, you know what I'm saying, getting jammed up, man, behind this sneaker. So the sneaker definitely um, has a lot of history to it, especially um, for me, even though I never had them. I've seen a lot of people go through some things with these sneakers, man. So it is what it is, man. But it's your boy Nucci, man, from Nucci Street Kicks, man. Thanks for stopping by my videos, stopping by my channel, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the little kind of mall vlog thing I did today. Something different, but hey man, it is what it is, man. Make sure you sub up, hit the thumbs up for your boy on this video, and that notification button, man, and be on the lookout for more content coming from your boy. It's your boy Lucy from Lucy Street Kids. I'll be catching you guys on the next up.